Let's start the intro. Slamat sore! Hey guys, Kenneth here. Good afternoon even though it's not exactly afternoon anymore i know but just stick with me so we all have this question when we got a new device when we got a new mac when we got a new ipad what apps are good what apps do you recommend and today i'm going to be addressing that i'm going to be sharing five of my most recommended apps i've used them ever since i got it anyway i've got a similar plan to do with the ipad so if you want to know what my top apps for the ipad please let me know down in the comments below i'll probably make a video for that anyway without keeping you for much longer let's dive in okay so here we are first i am gonna start with my favorite app of all time it is magnet with no doubt it really deserves this 5 star rating, it really deserves to be on the first place on productivity. It is that good of an application. So what does it do? It's really simple. It just lets you organize windows into a really specific places. For example, let me say, let me bring up like a couple of finder here and then like I'll just put them right there and yeah, you see, you have like this really organized uh, applications and it lives on the menu bar right here so it's not really intrusive at all you can divide windows horizontally like this or vertically like you bumping it to the downside or if you want to make a full window you just bump it to the top you buy once and that's it you just use it for your entire lifetime it's available in the App Store I'm very 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 happy with magnet and I think you will too but the only downside is that it's paid but worry not, I have a free alternative for you. It's called Tiles by Simpliva. And I've made a video comparing these two applications. So I'll put the video onto the card section on the top right there. You can check it out if you're interested. Okay, so moving on to the next application is Torrent Client for Mac. So if you are usually uh, if you so if you are used to getting uTorrent or MicroTorrent or BitTorrent, you have this alternative on Mac, which is way lighter, way simpler to use. It's amazing and it has no ads. That's the most important thing. It's called Transmission. I'll put the links down below. It's available on Mac and other Linux thing. I wish it could support Windows because it's really that good. Let me just fire it up real quick here. So you can see here that this is a really compact window compared to BitTorrent, which takes up your entire window usually and has ads there. So basically this is what you get. And I recommend going into preferences here, going to general and tick this auto resize button so that it resizes automatically according to how many files you are downloading at one time. So transmission, remember that. I'll put the link down in the description below. Recommend it if you're doing torrenting and stuff. Okay, so my next application comes in the App Store. It is called The Unarchiver and it is again the number one in utilities. And it's got almost perfect star rating because it is that good. And it's got dark mode as well. So it goes well with the newest Mac OS Mojave. This app is free so that I recommend you to download this app right away the first time you got your Mac to be able to open those RAR, 7-zip or any other files that are not .zip. So let's try that on now. I have a test.zip right here. But with the unarchiver, you can open other formats as well. So first you gotta do is you, do, uh, you gotta right click, go to get info, and then you click on the unarchiver and click on change all. Then finally click on continue. So that's gonna use the unarchiver to unzip this thing. And uh, as you can see, it's unzipping the file. And I'm gonna choose desktop here and the file is unzipped. So the only downside of the unarchiver is it can only extract the entire thing of the archive. So if you want to only pick one file out of an archive and then extract only that one, you can't do it with the unarchiver. So, but I think for most of the time, this will do the job really well. Okay, so the next application comes from FreeMacSoft again. It's called App Cleaner and what does it do is it helps you uninstall apps. 
So let me fire it up real quick here and give you a quick demo of what it can do. We're gonna go to applications, audacity, and we'll try to uninstall this thing. So normally what you're gonna do to uninstall an app in Mac is you're just dragging that into the trash and you're just gonna delete this application from the application folder. But then if we can see, we drop the audacity on the app cleaner and then we have so many other files that comes with it. So this app helps you find all those other apps and then it helps you delete them. Okay, so that is it, that's App Cleaner. It's another free app, but it's not in the App Store. So again, I'll put the links down in the description below, and I really recommend this to any one of you who are concerned of these kind of stuff. Okay, so the next and the final one, this is the fifth application. It's called Tuxera NTFS. So what it basically does is just it lets you write into NTFS formatted USB drives, whether it is external hard drive or thumb drive, anything that is NTFS, now you can write onto it and with decent speed as well. So this is a pretty good option, but then it's quite expensive, that's one thing to note. So if you have a hard drive, one that you use just for yourself, you just need to format it as XFAT, and I'll demonstrate it a little bit here. By the way, this Tuxera has a disk manager which I rarely use, this is just for demonstration. Um, so this file system, you just have to format it as an XFAT over here not the FAT32 because FAT32 is limited, uh, XFAT is newer and it's better. I don't wanna get too complicated here. XFAT is your way to go. XFAT can work with Mac and it also can work with Windows. But there are some people who has data already in their NTFS formatted hard drive and they can't really copy it anywhere and then they just want it to work. This is the program for you. I really like this one because it is very simplistic. You just basically install it, set it and go. So it lives in the system preferences down here and you don't have to set anything basically here. It just makes your computer compatible. That's it. And that is why I recommend Tuxera because it is very, very minimal. And actually there is another alternative here. It is called NTFS for Mac by Paragon Software. So this is similar to what Tuxera does, but it has this interface right here and it lives in the menu bar, which I don't like at all. Like my menu bar is kind of cluttered right now already and I don't want any other icon to go there and add more to it. So I'm sticking with Tuxera right now. Both of them I think are good. It's all down to the personal, it's all down to your personal preference and uh, yeah, I just like Tuxera more. Okay, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Five of the Mac apps that I use every day and it's been really helpful for me and I hope it could be helpful for you too. All the links for all those apps, I'll put them down in the descriptions below. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't like it. Please subscribe to my channel, it helps a lot. I have a lot of tech videos, reviews coming up, which I hope you will enjoy. So that is pretty much it for now. I hope it helped and I'll see you in the next one. By the way, I am really, really sorry for this blurry face of mine. I hate it myself. Now it's getting the focus well. And the autofocus is just, it's hunting all the time. I really hate it. I'm getting a new camera, it's M50. I really hope that the autofocus there will be really great. I'm pretty excited for that. Actually, I'm planning to make all my future videos in that, so make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in my next crispier videos. This is the built-in mic, by the way. How do I sound? Ah. Uh...